Hello and welcome to Master P's Turok Dinosaur Hunter walkthrough. I think this is going to be part 34 or whatever, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I hope you've collected all your Chronoceptor pieces from all the last levels because if you haven't, you're going to be pretty screwed otherwise. So you might want to go back and get them now if you haven't already done so, just watch my videos again. But as you can see from uh, from yours truly, I've got all my chronoceptor pieces and all my level keys. So let's jump into the final confrontation. Now, as soon as you get into this level, there is no there is no turning back. Oh, I'll put the music up again. So anyway, now I'm very um, I've got a mixed bag of emotions today. Uh, I'm going to start off with a very positive news, folks is that I am a published author, uh, once again. Oh, crap. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, I am a published author, once again. I have published my second book, The Black Mamba, which is about... It's going to be the first in a trilogy, and it's about the first of a... Yeah, it's the first, it's the first in a trilogy, and it's about a young mercenary called by the name of Daniel Stone, uh, who, uh, who, uh, basically just, oh, well, look, oh, I'm just trying to come down this now, I'm sorry about this, folks, um, right, so he basically, the book, the, the, the book itself is set in Saint City, uh, which is on a fictional UK channel island called Saint's Island, and it's set in modern times, uh, before you guys ask, and it focuses on Daniel Stone, who is uh, who's dealing with his father's death uh, from a year ago, and he's also uh, having to deal with the uh, the oh crap, I've just fallen off. He's also having to deal with the uh, the Payne uh, Pain Brothers uh, street gang, he's having to deal with those um, rather nasty gang of bullies. Uh, he's having to battle them, and uh, he's also trying to woo over Kenny Montgomery, who is the heiress of. The city's most powerful corporation, the uh, Montgomery Corporation. Now, everything looks ide idyllic on the surface uh, for Saint City. Um, yeah, it looks like it's not looking idyllic on the surface of my performance today. Um, so, but unfortunately, in the city's underworld, Lord Magnus and the Gangster Federation are spreading crime and corruption through the, the city streets, which has gone as far as the Saint City Police Department. Uh, so, Daniel Stone learns about how how the Montgomery Corporation has developed a pharmaceutical weapon. Look at that ultra health, by the way, folks. Uh, has developed a pharmaceutical weapon that could potentially stop criminals from reoffending indefinitely. So, definitely check it out. You can find the Amazon. Um, uh, version on yeah, you can find the, the Kindle version on Amazon, and then you can find there's also the uh, paperback version on Lulu. Now yeah, there's going to be an Amazon version coming out on uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, there's going to be a paperback version coming out, back on, uh, coming out on Amazon, but there will be a paperback. The paperback version is on Lulu at this time. Look at that, there it goes. So anyway, back to the game. Hang on a minute. So yeah, oh, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't really go too far just yet. Because I want to show you the first secret on this level. I have to say, the uh, the grenade launcher is a really effective weapon against these black raptor mags. Now, so yeah, you should definitely check out my book so far. Uh, it's only just come out today, so it hasn't got any, like, any reviews or anything just yet. So don't expect to find, you know, tons of reviews, you know, uh, you know saying, you know, why you should buy it. And I'm not giving you, like, a, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, like, um, like, biased reviews as well. All I'm gonna base, all I'm gonna say at this time is, if you're looking for something that's got, advent you've got, like, science fiction, crime, adventure, action, drama, and, and also looking for a good thriller as well, um, you should definitely check out the Black Mamba. It is the first of a trilogy, so there's always room for improvement on a sequel or anything like that. Uh, there's Ultra Health. Oh crap. Now, I personally don't need it, but there's an Ultra Health here, uh, if you guys want it. 
So yeah, that's only if, if you didn't go, you didn't find that first warp uh, warp zone uh, that I just really just popped into. Now these, yeah, now these are uh, aliens. They do fly around on jetpacks, so you have to be quite careful about that. Yeah, make sure you grab as much uh, health and ammunition as you possibly can, because by Christ, you are gonna need it. Oh. Um, now, you've got to watch out here for these, uh, these gun turrets, um, because you, they are going to be an unreal pain. Now, I'm going to definitely do a Resident Evil walkthrough, because I've noticed a lot that, um, with other Resident Evil walkthroughs, that people have not been playing the game properly. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what's around this corner here, apart from my, uh, not one of those robots. Yeah, the range on the entire gun is pretty, uh, is pretty limited. Oh crap, there's another robot here, so you take care of him with your grenade launcher. Yeah, grenade launcher is a really nice weapon at this point. Right, get yourself some rockets. No, you're going to take on some cyborgs in a minute, so I'm going to get my assault rifle out. Oh wait, no, I don't have to get my assault rifle out. Now with the cyborgs, it, yeah, with, with the only thing this level, it kind of goes from uh, Jurassic to Techno. Um, yeah, which is uh, quite um, strange. Uh, aha, there's another secret around there, so if you guys want it, I'm going to show you. Yeah, so there's a minigun here if you want it, but I think I've got plenty of minigun over it, yeah. So that's the first secret. Uh, now. With the cyborgs, you cannot use normal shotgun shells or normal arrows on them because that armor is actually quite tough. Crystal bullets still work. That will yeah, still work. They'll have a hot flipping arrow. The cyborgs are quite. What is that? Is that a lightsaber? I think that's a lightsaber. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, explosive uh, sh uh, shotgun shells are very effective against the smaller cyborgs, but just watch out for the big ones because they are on the freaking lasers and those lasers do like a ton of damage and they really run at you as well which makes life yeah very interesting so go back to the black man but you should definitely yeah you know, if you're a subscriber subscribe to my channel yeah please show me some love you know and please buy the book i mean the, yeah the book is available oh okay it is available worldwide um so there is like if you look on my channel there is a advert which says um there's a video which says black Ma uh, the, the black mamba which is like my youtube and adverts uh, so yeah, do check it out, uh, you will not be disappointed, and yeah, please, you know, by all means, download yourself a good copy of the, of the Black Amber today. So yeah, like I said, this is maybe its first day of release, so it depends of course if, if you're watching this video, I could do, I could do my stuff come out or something, and uh, and uh, I'll be keep you spoiling as well. Yeah, it, it depends of course if you're watching this video, I could do my stuff. Out. Yeah, there's a big cyborg that I was telling you about. Right, so, what am I going to do? Now, I'm going to try and show you the, you know, the, the quickest way to get into level, in my experience. So, you'll have to bear with me if I don't show you all the secrets, but I will try my best. Yeah, not quite enough, I've got all the um, cyborgs, I don't know, the big ass lasers. Uh, Okie dokie. You can get to use a pulse rifle on them if you're playing on easy and normal modes because with the pulse rifle, you know, they do drop, uh, drop uh, pulse rifle pickups, which is good. I'm just on that pretty, pretty sidestep thing. Now, if you're wondering what, the, uh, what I was so annoyed about uh, uh, you know, at the very start of this video, is that unfortunately my boiler has broken down. Uh, now, I have to check quickly through here. So, I was supposed to be going to fleet today. Uh, to, uh, you know, to sort of help out my nephew. But, uh... How many fucking rockets is this guy taking? Oh, crap, well, I'm missing. Right, screw this. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna get out of there. Right. 
I'm going to get out of here. Lovely thing. Well done. It's back in the tech point. Right, so what you want to do is go through sector 2. You can actually, there is a health bound if the is here, of course, and there's a rocket launcher in this room if you still didn't pick it up. Uh, I think there might be some alien infantry, uh, some, yeah, some more than alien infantry guys in this sector, so yeah, get your assault rifle and watch them decimate themselves. Very amusing. Um, so, uh, yeah, you've got to check for these guys as well, they can actually, most of the enemies on this level can actually shoot at you. So, it's a bit of a pain in the backside. Ah, there's another secret coming up as well in this uh, particular section. Well, it's only coming up either now or later. Grab the health that is around the perimeter of this room. You are good, literally, you're going to need every single bullet and little bit of health that you can possibly get your hands on. Ah, you're alright. Where am I going? Oh, wait, I just have to go along. Right, I'm going to try to go back this way. I hope I'm going the right way. If I'm not, I'm a bit stuck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you know you're going the right way when you're going to go the road. You can use your assault rifle as well on the uh, inside of walls. Yeah, they, they're, they're immune to... They're basically, it's a bit stupid, right? They're immune to uh, normal arrows and normal shotgun shells, but... They're um, not immune to, like, pistols, though, which is quite bizarre. And they just could be spoiled. It's a bit like... Oh, oh, oh. You can't be in the fucking Jedi lights over the bullshit. Oh, if you can, try to turn the enemy... Uh, against each other as much as possible. Uh, that's what's good to There might be. Oh, yeah, there was. Oh, there's more of these bloody uh, aliens in this, uh, in this room here, along with those two really annoying uh, yellow robots that fire lovely rockets at you. There is another rocket launcher in this room if you want to get it. Lift Texas 2. That's what you want. Uh, Right, so grab the explosive shells, get them to look at the Actors 2, which is not even down yet! Oh, thank goodness for that. I haven't got a rock out there, I was thinking right now. Yeah, those attack droids, they are really... They could be an absolute fucking pain. But it's all part of the fun, folks, and we shall continue on this walk through. Now, what we want to do is go for this uh, teleporter here. And then you go come to this section here, which you need to, what you need to do is get something heavy out, like your grenade launcher. Yeah, well, you're going to encounter both um, aliens and cyborgs. Oh, yeah, you can do that. I'm running out a bit of love with an AI myself, but yeah, it's up to you. We're jumping on my feet as I can use it. Yeah, I think we're doing a safe point for the sex that I was recording. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos that I am uploading. Uh, please share them as well. I would very much appreciate that. Oh, and do download a copy of the Black Mamba because you would really, you will not be disappointed if you do. And if you haven't well, also done so already, check out my other uh, ebook, uh, The Late Version. So yeah, do look into that. Right, anyway, I must pee. I'm just going to be tuning out. I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs>